Ladies and gentlemen, Indy's best, Jenny DeVoe. I'm originally from Muncie, Indiana, and I'm, I'm a professional wrestler. No, I'm not a professional wrestler. I'm an artist, and I'm going to do Jazz Fest this year, and I'm real excited about it. Last thing I ever recall, remember rain. So I write and I do my own booking and uh, manage myself and have, have a great band that's been with me for about eight years. They're, uh, they're all just fresh out of prison and um, so I'm just, it's kind of like a work release program. <laughs> they're all great guys, no they're great guys. The fact that I'm doing Jazz Fest and the fact that I also do um, folk clubs I, I, I think is a good testament to the fact that my music is a little hard to describe. As being independent, you don't really have to um, follow the the single, you know, narrow path that I think sometimes artists are forced to do. But at the same time, it, it all comes out sounding like me. You must have a lot of comments in your hair. Huh? I do. A yeah, I do. It's all natural. It's all natural. Thanks. Yeah, this is the only job I could get <laughs> with my hair. <laughs> And then, um, and then write music to that. And, and now it's just like, oh, you know, a chord can inspire a whole song. And the more I listen to people like Hank Williams and stuff like that, I, I realize that. They just kept things brilliant and simple. I don't think I've gotten to brilliant yet, but I've, I've tried to get to simple. <laughs> sound good saying my name with that love hi Roger this is Roger Mayer from California hey Roger hey I'm doing um I'm doing an interview right now can I call you back well after college I just took a job at a music studio because I've always been able to sing and I really wanted to do it's like I realized right after school it's like I should have done music. I, but main thing was I wanted to just get my degree. And so I moved to Indianapolis right away. And uh, within a month, I was with a band. So, I, But I, what I started doing was pouring coffee and working at a music studio where they did jingles and corporate music and stuff like that. So I'd run upstairs and sing something for, you know, Noble Romans or Ivory Liquid and, and then go back downstairs and answer the phones, pour coffee, get donuts and lunch for all the clients. And, and um, I've done music for, for corporate stuff, you know, and it's where I'm singing jingles and, and um, doing voiceovers and stuff like that. And it's like, I do remember that it does pay my bills. So that's very cool. But if you have to have this outlet if you're creative at all, because you'll go crazy. I got no choice. I want to be with you. That right there is my new um, toy, and I've been real inspired to write some sort of kind of kind of cooler, um, I call them Hank Williams types of songs. I've been listening to Ramblin' Man from um, like the bust of Hank Williams right now, so I'm, I'm doing more stuff like Don't have words yet. 
girls in skirts pumping gas. I don't know. Try the good times last. Ah, oh, da 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 da. See, it's got that like tinny sound, and it's old, and it's cool. So yeah, I had this in layaway for a while. It's like a 1930 National steel guitar. I love it. Oh yeah, I'll play it on here. Yeah. This is a song. This will be a song I'm gonna do at Jazz Fest. And this is um I just wrote it recently and it it sounds like it should be a little French song. The lady after I was done playing, she's like the little violin player, said, Oh, that's a beautiful song. She said it's so sad you should sing it in French. I was like, okay, I will. <laughs> What will I do with myself Now that there's nobody else Will I be sick Oh, get well I had invented it. <laughs> Gosh, I think the next one will be brilliant. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm supposed to strike some brilliance this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah.